Yeah. But look, so going along with that, let, let's talk about it. Preseason's right around the corner. You know, this year we only have three games in this season. Um, I know we play New England and then Cincy, maybe? We go uh, New England, the Dolphins at home. Uh, no, we go to the Dolphins and then the uh, Patriots at home. Okay, nice. So I'll definitely be watching that Patriots game. See my guy Drake May? Yes, sir. Yeah, <laughs> you should go to it. Look. We definitely want to see that one. So, so what are we thinking now? You know, there's only three games left. Uh, this guy is our the. This is the investment. This is the guy that we wanted. We don't want anything to happen to him. He's still a little bit on the skinnier side, so he might be susceptible to injury. But uh, what are your thoughts? Do you think he should play in preseason? I do. I do. Um, yeah. yeah. He's a rookie. How how can you tell me? that a rookie doesn't need right. any snaps exactly. in preseason games. Um, yeah. And I think we, you, I think we can be smart about it. Um, you know, if you look at some of the trends in preseason where actually the teams that even on – that have established offenses take preseason as something. And what they do is they try to get into a passing rhythm. Um, right. And I think you can do things that prevent the defense – from getting a chance to get with him. It's it's the famous thing that I say every single week. Let's throw a bunch of quick hitters out there. Give him a bunch of slants yep. to go to, you know, to get him get yep. his feet weight. Slants and screens, you know. Um, yep. <laughs> but you could do some of that stuff that so that he he gets a chance to feel some of the speed of the NFL before the game starts by start counting. Cuz you know, week yeah. one if you he goes from playing at LSU um, and then to the NFL and there that's going to be a jump. The speed's going to be a jump, and it's important. Um, I also thought he really should play at our stadium once just to understand the lights, the sidelines, the sight, yes. view, the clock, all that stuff. But then I'm also looking here at saying, it, well, that's the, that's the third game, and usually you know, you don't want to play people like him. But, hey, it may be the same thing. He's gonna, he gets one series at, at – uh, I'm going to call it Jack King Cook Stadium. That's what I'm going to call it. There we go. On. <laughs> so, so he could, he could get uh, you know one one series at Jack Kent Cook Stadium where so he can kind of get acclimated so he's ready to go when we're back for week two. Um, oh, yeah. which I normally would have said he should skip the Patriots game, but yeah, absolutely. I think it doesn't have to be much. I think you could be safe with it, but he should be playing. Oh yeah, absolutely. And look, at, at the end of the day, this guy still needs the reps. He needs those reps. I, I think that's ridiculous for anybody to think that he should not play. He's got to get in there because like mm -hmm. you were saying, yes, he needs to get into the flow of the game, but also, I mean, let's be honest about our field. Uh, unless less repairs have been done that I don't know about. Our field is still treacherous. You know, what? he needs to get a feel of that. <laughs> I think, I think this may be the one thing Ron Rivera did right in DC, which was fix, fix the playing services from what I, yeah. I think. I think Ron might've fixed that, but you, you are correct. in in, yeah. in your point. He needs to look. We need to. He needs to get acclimated with that stuff. And I mean, look. I know he'll be in house and at in Ashburn and all that stuff. So I, I'm excited at, at what we are seeing now. But I think he needs to be in there, Johnny. Was, yeah, we, we know. Johnny. Was the world? Well, right. <laughs> get That's better. That life right, stadium on. where everyone tears their ACL. Mm, or ruptures their Achilles. Or ruptures their uh, Achilles. Yeah. <laughs> So, yes, our, our opinion is definitely, yes, he should play in preseason. Now, uh, do you give him the starter role or are you talking like first game he's playing a half or like what like what's the numbers? Are you are you doing a lot of action in each of the three games? I mean, I would I want the flow like you were saying. I want him to get those high percentage passes and get the kind of flow and the speed and all that. But you also don't want to risk him getting hurt by some random kid that's just trying to make a team. See, but I almost wonder at the opposite. Or would it be worse if he's playing with Brandon Coleman getting his first snaps in the NFL and yeah. Mason Brooks yeah. at right guard? Where is it better right. to put him out there with the starters where Biotish is the one in front of him? Um, right. Recognizing that veterans are out there to make plays, but you also, just like you said, they don't have to get the sack to make the roster, yeah. Um, yeah. and you know. But it, uh, Daniels is going to be the starter week one. 
Like they may not be naming him the starter right now, but we're not going down to Tampa with Marcus Mariota going out as a starter, <laughs> barring injury. We have we have two different um, practices. I'm trying to think of like the word mm. training camp practices with the Jets, with the Dolphins. You know, so there's a chance you could say he could run with the ones and those, but then not the preseason. But I, I think I might feel better just saying, hey, go ahead and run with the ones. You know, you don't have to name him the starter, but you could, you know, maybe you let JD run with the five with the ones. You let Mariota run with the ones as well uh, before they they come out. So therefore, you're giving them both a chance. But I think mm. I think I'd be more comfortable with him with our starters out there. Yeah, I would. I you know I like that they're not naming him the starter. Yeah right now and and i kind of want them even if they already have it in their mind that he's going to be a starter i kind of want them to still have the illusion of a competition i mean ben he's in the comments ben was number one him him and nick all last year why was it in a competition between sam howell and 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 jd uh and um uh jacoby Brissett? well now let's have that let's let's at least i want JD5 to continue to always be on top of his game and not slip up. You know what I mean? Because yeah. let's be honest, yeah. I don't trust Marcus coming in in relief. 